Hello! In today's lesson, we are going to continue with our Unit 1, which is called My World, and we are going to talk um, about our behavior and people's behavior and feelings. So we are going to revise um, some adjectives that we can use to describe a person, adjectives for describing people. And also we are going to listen to and read a text about uh, different kinds of people. So open your books for the beginning, pages uh, 16 and 17. After this lesson, you are going to uh, be able to talk about your feelings and other people's feelings and also um, be more confident in using um, adjectives for describing people's personality and character. And also you are going to be able to um, describe your friend or a family member and say how you are similar or different. So, for the beginning, look at the pictures. What kind of person is she? Or how does she feel? What do you think? The first one, how can we describe this person? How does she feel? What kind of person is she? She can be shy or bored or a quiet person. And this one as well, she's not very talkative, she's quiet or sensitive or shy. And this one, she's very cheerful, happy, outgoing. This one can be excited or happy about something. And this one, she can be mean or dishonest. And this one can be scared or surprised. And this one, she can be bossy. This one can be angry or mad. And this one can be sad or upset or also sensitive or shy. So you can use these adjectives to describe people. We already talked about these adjectives. Već smo razgovarali ovim pridevima. Dakle, danas um, obnavljamo gradivo, odnosno prideve koje možemo koristiti da opišemo nečije osjećanja ili nečije osobine. Ok, so this one... Um, as we said can be bossy. Here you have the translation as well. So please look at these adjectives again and try to describe a person using these adjectives. Okay, now what about these people? What about these people? Look at the pictures. This one is excited. Excited. This girl can be sad or upset. This one is angry. And this boy is obviously bored. Bored. This boy is scared. He looks scared. Shy. Happy. Or surprised. Surprise, this energy. Okay, now let's revise. What about this one? She is excited, okay? And this one is shy. This girl is Look at the adjectives. Angry. This boy is bored. And this one?
this one can be also shy, happy. This boy is surprised. And the girl up here, number two, is sad or upset. Okay. So when do you feel happy or sad or angry or scared? So look at these sentences on the right. Let's match. I feel happy when... Hajde da povežemo levo i desnu stranu. Osjećam se srećno kada ili srećno sam kada. Look at this. Examples. When I go out with my friends. I feel sad when... Osjećam se tužno kada. When my brother takes my toys. I feel scared when I watch a horror film. I feel angry. I feel angry when... Okay, when my brother takes my toys. This can be the solution as well. I feel sad when my dad goes away for work. Okay, so when do you feel happy? When do you feel sad or angry? And when are you scared? When do you feel scared? Kada ste uplašeni? Give your examples for this. Dajte svoje primere ili zapišite rečenice. Let's look at this exercise. You have adjectives on the left side. And here are the explanations or justifications for this. Sa desne strane su objašnjenja za pridebe. For example, somebody is cheerful when he or she smiles a lot. Neko je razdragan ili veseo kada se smeje puno. What about selfish? Who is selfish? Selfish. Selfish is someone who only cares about himself or herself. Sebičan je neko ko brine samo o sebi ili misli samo na sebe. Generous. Prošle godine smo takođe razgovarali i radili sa ovim pridevima. Generous. Generous. It's the opposite of selfish. Generous is someone or somebody who likes giving people things. Veliko dušan. Voli da daje stvari drugima. Popular. Lots of people like him. Talkative. Who is talkative? Someone who talks a lot, right? Neko ko puno priča. And bossy. Neko ko voli da naređuje da bude bossor. Here she tells people what to do. Energetic. Who is energetic? Somebody who does a lot of things. Energetan. Honest. Somebody who tells, always tells the truth. Iskren, pošten. Neko ko uvek govori istinu. And impatient. Impatient. Somebody who hates waiting for things. Nestrpljiv. Nestrpljiv. Neko ko nema strpljenja da trek. Ok. A next one. Ok. Let's fill in this exercise using these sentences. And first we can listen to, to the dialogue between Jessica and Rita. Okay? Did you meet the new teacher in school, Rita? No, I didn't. What does he look like? Well, he's of medium height and he's quite slim. Oh, really? Is his hair fair? No, it's dark actually. What's he like? He's quite cheerful and very popular already. Look, he's chatting with Mr. Prosser. Is he the one with a short beard and a moustache? That's right. Okay, so 
Jessica and Rita are talking about their new teacher in school. And Rita asks, uh, Jessica asks, did you meet a new teacher in school, Rita? Rita says, no, I didn't. What does he look like? Kako izgleda? Well, he is of medium height and he is quite slim. Srednje visine i vitak je. Prilično je vitak. Oh, really? Is his hair fair? Da li ima svetlu kosu? No, it's dark, actually. Pogledajmo odgovor. He is quite cheerful and very popular. Koje bi pitanje bilo na ovom mestu? What is he like? Kakav je on? He is very cheerful and very popular already. Već je veoma popular. Look, he is chatting with Mr. Prosser. And now, is he the one with the short beard and the mustache? Da li je to onaj sa kratkom bradom i vrkovima? Yes, that's right. Okay. So you have the adjectives and their translations now. And now we are going to talk about our text, which is called The Rainbow of People. A Rainbow of People. It's on um, the page 22 in your books. So look at the picture and read the title of the text. The title is A Rainbow of People. A Rainbow, Rainbow. Okay. A lot of colors in the rainbow. Look at the picture and um, guess what the text can be about. What can the text be about? You can see these kids here. You can notice that they are all different, but also they are the same in some, some way. <clears throat> How are they similar? Kako su slični? Well, they are the same age, they are all young, and they also have the same interests, right? They also wear similar clothes, casual clothes. And also, they are similar, slični su, they are similar because they are all very cheerful, happy, relaxed, they look relaxed. And how are they different? Kako su različiti? What do you think? What are the differences? Well, they all have different hair, they have different clothes. And probably their personalities are a bit different, right? So, let's uh, open uh, our books on page 22 and listen to the text. A rainbow of people. Imagine a world with no differences at all. You go to a party and everyone is wearing the same clothes. You are at a restaurant, but there's only one thing on the menu to eat. You go to the cinema, but it only ever shows the same film. Does it sound like fun? The students at your school are the same in some ways. You all start and finish at the same time. You do the same lessons and homework. You follow the same rules and maybe you wear the same clothes, a uniform. But that doesn't mean there are no differences. Some students are good at schoolwork. Some are good at sports. Some are tall and some are short. Some have got dark hair, but others have fair hair. This boy is shy, while that one is talkative. One girl is very energetic, and another is always cheerful. Some walk around, while others use a wheelchair. The world is full of difference, but this is what makes it so wonderful. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet are all lovely colors, but they can only make a beautiful rainbow when they stand together in the sky. In fact, they are more beautiful together than when they are apart. Being different together is what gives life color. Okay, so um, this text is about the differences between people and the similarities also. So what do you think? Would the world be a better place if we all were similar and the same? 
No, it would be quite boring, right? If we all were the same. So we are all different in some way, and that's what makes life beautiful. We are all different in character, in personality, in our physical appearance, in our behavior and feelings. Okay? And this, what ma this is what makes life beautiful. Here we have um, some quote about differences and similarities. The first one says, The beauty of the world lies in the diversity of its people. And the second one says, We are all different, which is great, because we are all unique. Without diversity, life would be very boring. Dakle, svi smo različiti, što je odlično, zato što smo svi jedinstveni po nečemu. Specifični jedinstveni. Bez različitosti, život bi bio dosadan. Ok, do you agree? Da li se slažete? Mm -hmm. So, here you have the vocabulary from the text. You can use it and copy in your books. Okay, let's go to our ebook. So, now we have to, to read the text again and match the headings to the paragraphs. We have the headings here. Imamo podnaslove ovog teksta. I hajde da ih rasporedimo ispred svakog paragrafa. What about the first one? Read it again. Imagine a world with no differences at all. Zamislite svet bez ikakvih razlika. You go to a party and everyone is wearing the same clothes. You are at a restaurant but there is only one thing on the menu to eat. You go to the cinema, but it only ever shows the same film. Does it sound like fun? Da li zvuči zabavno? Which heading can we put here? It's D, okay? A boring world. The world would be quite boring then. The second one. The students at your school are the same in some ways. You all start and finish at the same time. You do the same lessons and homework. You follow the same rules. Pratite ista pravila, ista pravila važe za sve. And maybe you wear the same clothes, a uniform. I možda nosite istu odeću, uniformu. But that doesn't mean there are no differences. Ali to ne znači da ne postoje razlike među vama. Ok? Which heading can we match to this paragraph, match with this paragraph? Okay, see? The third one, some students are good at schoolwork, some are good at sports, some are tall, some are short, some have dark hair, others have fair hair. This boy is shy, well, that one is talkative. Jedan dečak je stidljiv, dok je jedan drugi pričljiv. One girl is very energetic and another is always cheerful. Some walk around while others use a wheelchair. Which heading can be matched to this paragraph, with this paragraph? Contrasts, contrasty, suprotnosti. And the last one, the world is full of difference, but this is what makes it so wonderful. Svet je pun različitosti, ali ga to čini divnim. Red, all orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet are all lovely colors, but they can only make a beautiful rainbow when they stand together in the sky. Različite su boje, ali ono što ih čini lepim je kada stoje jedna pored drugi. In fact, they are more beautiful together when they are apart. U stvari, lepše su kada su zajedno nego kada su odvojene. Being different together is what gives light life color. Različitost je ono što daje boju životu. And the fourth one is better together. Bolje kad smo zajedni. Okay. So let's watch the video again about the text 
you can listen to it or you can open your books and follow the text. A rainbow of people. Can you imagine a world with no differences at all? You go to a party and everyone is wearing the same clothes. You are at a restaurant and there's only one thing on the menu to eat. You go to the cinema, but it only ever shows the same film. Does it sound like fun? The students at your school are the same in some ways. You all start and finish at the same time. You do the same lessons and homework. You follow the same rules and maybe you wear the same clothes, a uniform. But that doesn't mean there are no differences. Some students are good at schoolwork, some are good at sports. Some are tall and some are short. Some have got fair hair, but others have got dark hair. This boy is shy, while that one is talkative. One girl is very energetic, and another is always cheerful. Some walk around while others use a wheelchair. The world is full of difference, but this is what makes it so wonderful. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet are all lovely colors but they can only make a beautiful rainbow when they stand together in the sky. In fact, they are more beautiful together than when they are apart. Being different together is what gives life color. The differences between us make us both brilliant and special. Okay, so let's try to fill in this text using the words given. Can you imagine a world with no differences? A world where everyone wears the same clothes at... At the party, there is only one thing on the... Menu at the restaurant. And the same film is always on the on at the the same film is always on at the cinema. Doesn't sound like much fun. At school students start and finish at the same time and they do the same lessons and have the same homework. They usually wear the same uniform, but each student is different. Some students are good at schoolwork, others are good at sports. Some are tall, others are short. Some have got fair hair and others dark. One boy is shy while another is talkative. Some walk around while others use a wheelchair. The world is full of differences, but this is what makes it wonderful. Okay. So we have to accept the differences. Treba prihvatiti razlike među nama, because it makes our life beautiful. Otherwise, our life would be quite boring. Okay. Da smo svi isti, život bi bio dosadan. Dakle, ova lekcija nas uči o tome da treba prihvatiti različitosti i uživati u njima. So, respect the differences and enjoy the diversity of our life. For homework, you will write about your friend, what is he or she like, and write about three ways you are the same and three ways you are different. How are you similar and how are you different? Pisat ćete o svom prijatelju, o njoj ili njemu, kakav je on ili ona, kakva je ličnost, kakav karakter ima i daćete tri primjera 
po čemu ste vi i vaš drug ili drugarica slični i tri primera ili načina kako se razlikujete. Ok, for example, my best friend is, here you put the name of the friend, he or she is cheerful because he smiles a lot, he can be bossy at times because he likes telling people what to do. We are both outgoing and we both like swimming and music very much. Obe ili obojica ili oboje volimo plivanje i muziku. So these are similarities, ovo su sličnosti. We are different because he can be very talkative and I am usually shy. Različiti smo zato što je on veoma pričiva, ja sam obično stidljiv. We like to play different computer games. Također smo različiti zato što volimo različite igrice. Also, he has fair hair and mine is dark. Također on ima svetlu ili plavu kosu, a moje je tamna. Dakle, navješćete osobine, karakterne vašeg prijatelja i navješćete po čemu ste slični i kako se razlikujete. Ok, and if you have any questions, you can ask on our in our teams or you can write to me. Okay, this was everything for today and see you at school. Goodbye.